Hey everyone, so today I am going to swatch and give my first impressions on a pencil that has been around <laughs> since I was a kid and long before I was even introduced to this world, Crayola. So I get, or I have had a lot of requests to use some Crayola pencils and I am not above Crayola, never have been, I just, to be honest, I've never really used them um, other than like back in my school days. But when I got into coloring, I didn't even think of buying Crayola um, as an adult colorist. I went to uh, some other cheap brand, <laughs> which was probably worse than Crayola, to be quite honest. And then I did Marco Raffine and then I went to Prismacolor. So I just never had thought to buy them. So I finally decided, well, they've got a set of 100. Let's try them out. Uh, I have quite a few requests to do some hair tutorials with Crayola pencils. And you know what? I don't mind doing that because, well, Crayola might work. Um, I know they're going to be a harder lead. Now granted, we're not going for anything artistic or light fast here. It is Crayola, <laughs> so <laughs> let's be realistic. Um, but I'm gonna swatch them out and kind of see what I think. And then I think I'll do another video of a little color along. And then maybe I'll start doing some hair combos with them. Uh, these have been sitting in my pile of things I need to swatch for way too long. So I'm finally getting to it. I did not make this swatch chart, however. I uh, printed this from Emily Illustrator, so I will leave a link to her YouTube channel as well as her website where she offers these generously for free, by the way. Um, and her chart also has colors of the world. And because I have full set syndrome, I'm probably gonna have to go buy those. <laughs> but they're like five bucks. <laughs> so this is probably the cheapest pencil I have ever purchased. And who knows, maybe I'll like it. Um, now, I don't know if her order is the same as these come in. It looks like it might be. It looks like they put them actually in a pretty decent color order. So yeah, I'm gonna get swatching. I'm gonna put a few more pieces of paper under here and I will speed up the swatching process just because I assume you won't want to actually watch me swatch each one. And then I'm going to put them into this lovely case that has been sitting in my art closet for a while, waiting for some pencils. Isn't this so pretty? I really like this one. I don't know if I want to put Crayolas in this. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a different case. Um, but I, I usually buy those cases when they go on like lightning deal. And then I stack them up because I know I'm going to fill them with something. All right, so let's get swatching. I don't think I'm gonna bother pre-sharpening these little bad boys because they come sharpened and well, I just don't feel like sharpening 100 pencils. <laughs> so, uh, but as you can see, the Crayola pencil just says Crayola. It is not a color dipped end, but hey, it's on center, which don't get me wrong, I am a lover of Prismacolor and I will fight for those to the end, but let's face it, they're not very, good at being on center these days. Um, and then let's see, we have the name and then it's of course written in different languages, but we're focusing on the first one. So yeah, I will swatch. I'll speed it up for you all. So what will be probably an hour plus for me will be a quick, hopefully minute or two for you. So I will catch you when we're done.
Okay, two days later for me and just a couple seconds for you. I have finished swatching these. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, uh, so most of them have the color name back here. This one was totally printed upside down, so the color name is way here at the top. So once I sharpen, it's going to be gone. Um, but that was the only one out of all 100. Uh, this is actually a really good range of colors. Um, I'm actually really impressed, and I'm, I'm not just like blowing smoke here. Um, I was kind of surprised at the range of colors they have. Uh, red wise, this red is like their true red. It is a little more pinkish. Um, these are harder leads. It, it is harder to get the pigment out, but, uh, Derwent Pro Color is my favorite pencil for hair and they're the same way. They're hard, uh, pigment, you know, getting pigment out of them is a joke. These might actually work well for layering up all those different strands. We'll see though. But um, yeah, red wise, not too shabby. You still have some reds over here, hanging out over here in your pinks. Uh, you do have a, a great orange. Uh, yellows are great, including a, a primary yellow. Um, the greens I also think are a great selection. Uh, they even have some, you know, more tealish greens and then a lot of blues. Um, they even have a really nice dark blue here. Some of these names are super cute too, by the way. <laughs> Where was that one? Was it like mellow yellow or something like that? Or unmellow yellow, that was what it was called. Made me giggle. Uh, the purples are great. Uh, a lot of companies don't include a ton of purples because they're a pain to make. So it was, it was actually pretty surprising. Um... Some of their purples are more on the blue-violet scale, but not too bad. I'd probably rearrange these just a titch more. Uh, I don't know. i got to play with them, though. Um, then we get into, like, these mauve colors. Marvelous. <laughs> oh, I love punny names. Um, but, yeah, these reds and pinks are really pretty. They actually have this whole section here is perfect for all range of skin tones um not just fair skin like all of these here so i'm i'm kind of curious so extra light almond i'm assuming is going to be lighter than that one there uh very light rose where's rose is there a rose i'm not seeing it but um i'm assuming some of these will play off the colors that we already have here like a uh, light golden could be something off of this. I don't know. I, I'm just speculating because I haven't really seen them. I'm, I'm going to have to get these uh, <laughs> after Christmas. But yeah, uh, I would like to see what those would add in terms of skin tone. Now, like I said, I had bought these because I had a lot of requests to do hair with them. And I think it can be done. Um, so I was checking out the browns because I thought it'd be fun to just start with a garden variety, basic brown hair. And I can actually make quite a few different brown ha hair colors. I can make just your traditional chocolate. I can easily do um, more of a reddish brown, um, you know, a lighter brown. There, there's a lot to work with in this color range already, and I bet you in this skin tone set I could get, I'll pick up a couple more browns. But I think I am going to play around with these. So first impressions as the pencil as a whole, not just for hair, I was actually pretty impressed. Um, they weren't scratchy at all, and I have bought some very expensive pencils <laughs> that are scratchy to swatch. So kudos to you, Crayola. Uh, the color range is great. Um, you know, I didn't pre-sharpen them, so they probably did have a little bit of film on them for manufacturing. Uh, these cheaper ones tend to. But for the fact that this is 100 pencils for very cheap, I am thinking these would work great in all sorts of books, actually. And these might even work okay on Create Space paper because... They have that hard lead, but they still are smooth. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to check, you know, check that out as well. But I think I'm gonna work on creating a brown hair color. 
I picked out this pretty gal from one of Mariola Budek's hair inspirations. And I think I'm going to try and come up with a brown combo. So off the bat, when I was swatching, I saw this. Is it dark brown? Yeah, so dark brown. I really liked uh, the dark chocolate. Where are you? The dark chocolate looked like it would add some good contrast. Cocoa was the other one that caught my eye. Okay. Um, and then I do like this light brown. And then I'm thinking I might use ooh, the choices. I'm thinking I could just use tan and make it a very simple combo or even this khaki might be a better highlight color. Where's that khaki? Not that sand. So it's hard because some of the barrels don't match up. Ah, khaki. I think coming off of there, that'll be good. So I'm going to try. So what I'm going to do is sharpen these. And then I will try and create a hair color combo oops, um, using these. So dark brown, dark chocolate, cocoa, light brown, and khaki. So I'm going to sharpen them. I'm going to uh, do a couple strands on here. And then I will be right back and let you know what I think. Okay, so I played around with those colors and just quickly tried to fill in this section here. Now, obviously, I have to get used to how these pencils react, just like with any brand, but they are doing exactly what I thought they would do, similar to the Pro Color, because they do have that harder lead and the pigment is not as vibrant, you know, naturally when it first comes out. It allows you to continue stacking, flicking motion just like this and help you build up those layers. Like I can sit here and keep adding probably another, oh, easily <laughs> five or six rounds. But I wanted to show you. Now it's, it looks a little rough up close, but can you see how each individual stroke is still present? That's a good sign. So each one of these colors is coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this whole set of hair here in this combo. I may uh, come in and add maybe a black, but I think this dark brown is holding its own. And it's always hard to tell on just one little section, but I'll keep adding more layers as well and kind of getting a feel for the pencil because all pencils are different in how you approach them with hair. But I'm going to color all her hair, and I'll do that in a separate review showing, you know, the finished product and what I think. But they are reacting exactly how I thought they would, um, a lot like the Pro Colors. They can add loads of layers. I, I have tons to still come back in here and refine. So I have a feeling this hair color is going to look really good when it's done. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow my community posts. I will start posting updates as I keep working on this hair. I have quite a few coloring projects, so I'll just post here and there as I've got it done. But yeah, overall, I am very impressed for a Crayola pencil. <laughs> um... So I may do some more of these, and if uh, the brown works out, then I can start taking some color requests for sure. Maybe we'll have a live stream of just making hair out of Crayola pencils. But let me know what you think if you have the Crayolas. Do you use them much in your adult coloring? And uh, yeah, I'd just love to hear about it in the comments below. So until next time, everyone, take care. Bye now.